Hi friends, it's Rachel. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to create turquoise hair using the Color Therapy app. And I want to show you how to create layers to make it look silky and have dimension. If you want to follow along, search for this image under People Charming Freckles. All right, so head over to the Pastel Easter Emerald palette, set it to gradient, and then select the second color from the right on the second row. And make sure it goes from dark to light, and then just tap in the hair. Now let's set it to solid. Let's choose the third color from the right on the last row. It's a super dark turquoise. Now select the hair tool, size 100 and opacity 45, coloring inside the lines mode on. And now we're going to just swipe in some hair strands, kind of just throughout the hair. So just kind of blend it down, going with the motion and the movement of the hair, adding texture. Let's head over to the airbrush tool now. Size 35 and opacity at 40. Now using black, let's add shadows into the hair. So I'm just kind of adding it straight into areas where the hair is either overlapping or it's next to the edge of, a, of the face where there would be a natural shadow. So for example, right here, the hair is gonna overlap. So it'll be a shadow right there. Behind the neck, there's lots of shadows. So add in lots of shadows there. So right underneath the ear right there. And then we're right here where the hair is overlapping again so if you need to you can look at a reference but just take your time with this and you want to just add those shadows in softly and this will help it look really luminous those roots are, are usually pretty dark there's going to be a big shadow here between where these big strands of hair meet and then lots of shadows just right underneath this chunk of hair now let's go back over it now with the fur tool. So size 60 and opacity at 100. And this time I'm using the turquoise from the pastel Easter Emerald palette. So I'm just swiping those strands into the hair, adding in some highlights. Now let's head back to the airbrush tool. Size 50 and opacity 40. With that same turquoise color, we're gonna spray in some highlights. So those highlights are gonna be in between where the shadows are that you put okay so in the middle of the hair essentially and i like to do it kind of all the way across sort of in a a line so now we're starting to get some luminosity coming through now let's turn clearing inside the lines mode to off we're going to use the smear tool you can use various sizes and you can just begin to blend the hair if you have some highlights that aren't blending in very well, just smear them softly, making it really soft and just kind of breaking up those chunks of hair. I would also recommend too, pretty much at this point, to color in the face and the background and the clothes and everything else on your subject. Go back and you can add a little bit more black again with the airbrush tool, the same settings that you had before. So kind of just blending in, making those shadows even darker if you lost them. Let's use the pen tool now. Let's do between si size one to three. So I'll start with one and then opacity at 70. So I'm using that dark turquoise again from the pastel Easter Emerald palette. It's the third color um, from the right on the bottom row. And you're gonna add in some strands of hair now. So you're gonna draw strands of hair just kind of coming off like that. So again, this is why you wanna have your background finished as well as the skin and the clothes. So you can just add some little hairs coming off. You wanna make sure those hairs are sort of going with the flow and the body of what we have already with the hair, the movement. Coloring inside the lines mode is still off and you're just kind of dragging in some strands across the hair, just making it have a lot of movement. And again, you can lower the size down so you have some thinner hairs too. Some little baby hairs up the top. You can also use the lighter turquoise too from the pastel Easter Emerald palette. So that lighter turquoise for more little strands. So bringing them in through the hair here and there and off too. So some of them are going to go right where your shadows are, bringing in lots of movement. And the last step is basically just to add a little bit of the smear tool here and there just to soften those strands, just to make them look kind of soft and dreamy. If you choose a neutral background or a lighter background, this hair is really going to pop out against it. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Color Therapy YouTube channel so you don't miss any new tutorial videos. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.